good everybody thank you for tuning in to another video very much appreciated today is a really cool one we are going to be taking a look at the akini branded exto wallet this wallet was actually sent to me and i had the pleasure of using it for about seven ish eight days and um being somebody who usually comes from leather wallets like sacred uh, or like an extra wallet or fabric wallet or card holder one of the main issues with those kinds of wallets is like the more you pack things into them the more they lose their form. And if, especially if they're held together by like a magnet or a clasp, when they are overpacked, sometimes they don't close, they lose their form and it kind of makes the wallet a little bit more difficult to use. Now the Exto is a hard shelled wallet made out of aluminum and stainless steel. And seeing it was the first time I used a wallet like that, I was interested to see how it adjusts to, you know, be carrying around something so rigid. Um, but I actually really grew to enjoy that aspect of the wallet because Number one, this over delivered in terms of what the website said it could hold. It actually holds more than it said it can hold. And number two, when I packed it tight, it kept its form. And that's a really important thing for people that are trying to be minimalist and, and reduce the amount of stuff they're carrying. You know, the more stuff you put in one of these things, if it's not a hard case, it's going to expand. And I had no issues, obviously, being that this is made out of metal. It kept its form. And uh, it really was a surprising wallet. And I, and I enjoyed using it quite a lot. So I won't waste any more time. Let's hop right into it. And we'll do a little breakdown of how many cards and cash and its capacity and materials. And then we'll finish it off with my final review. So let's hop right into it. All right, so let's hop in to the materials and the build quality of the Exto wallet. Now it's a really simple minimalist wallet, two pieces, unless you decide to go and get the extras and the accessories. I have a couple in the video I'll show later, but if you were just buy it stock, you're gonna get two pieces in this wallet. It's gonna be this outer shell, which is made out of aluminum, very light and um, very sturdy, very strong. As you can see here, if I'm pulling, giving it a little bit of a squeeze here. You're not going to get a lot of flex, a lot of bends. You're going to have no issues if you're sitting on it or if it's tucked under in your bag. It's going to hold its form and its shape very strong and robust and very, very light. On the aluminum, they call this an ultra powder coating. I don't know if you'll be able to see it here. It almost makes it feel like plastic initially. And, and aluminum being so light, initially I thought this was a heavy plastic, but it's just a coating that they're putting on the outside of the aluminum. It gives it a nice textured matte feeling and look, and that's gonna help with not picking up any fingerprints or any oils from the hands. And uh, unfortunately, this second piece, which I'm gonna show you here, is made out of stainless steel and since it doesn't have any coating it does pick up um, oil and fingerprints but you're not going to have to worry too much because you're not going to be you know touching this piece too often but this is the second piece of the wallet and this is going to be where you're going to sit things like cash or business cards and that's going to help as you can see there's a little bit of a bend here and it's not gonna show too much, but there's some flex here. And that's gonna give you flexibility when you're packing this wallet tight and things to push down so that it doesn't get too tight in here. As you can see, there's almost two compartments. There's this recess here where you're gonna fit cash and bills and possibly business cards. And then this piece from this ridge and upwards is gonna be where your credit cards sit up into that lip here. And uh, also you're gonna see some recessed edges, it's gonna give it a little click and that's gonna let you know when everything's in place. Otherwise, very simple, really great design and sturdy, just two pieces. So let's not waste any more time and we'll hop in to see how many cards and cash the Exo can hold. When it comes to the card carrying capacity of the Exo, and if you're gonna go out and buy this, you're gonna have some options. You can get a four, six, eight, and 10 card holder and that is just going to be specifically for this space here it's not really talking about down here or the extra compartment underneath here so initially this wallet is this is the eight card holder and that's going to be this space here so let's grab eight cards off the jump one two three four five six seven eight and we have one embossed card in here we'll kind of put that in the center and we'll see how that fits in the one I don't want to say it's a downside 
because it's not a downside. It's just a learning curve. That is one thing I will say when I first started using this wallet. It took me a little bit of time to get used to sliding cards in and out without having to take every card out all the time. Once you get the cards in there, eight, no problem. You're gonna hear a little click. Let me pull it up here. And that's gonna let you know when things are inserted and secure. So that little click is your indication that everything is safe and secure. And as you can see, shaking, no problem. And it's nice and protected. This little ridge on either side, nothing is gonna really have any issues of pulling anything out. So nice, safe and secure. And that is your eight cards. And how it's gonna work and how I started using it is basically to fan your cards out. You give it a tiny bit of a little bit of a push, start sliding things out, and then you kind of just fan through which ones you want and you can pull them out this way, or if it's like a card in the top right in the front, quick access. I will say if you have cards that you use often, keep those on the top, because if you have cards that are at the bottom, it takes a little bit of practice to get really good without having to, by accident, pull out all the cards and put them back in, but it's not a huge deal. You just kind of go through it, pull out the card you want, put them back in, just like that. So, like I had mentioned, this is the eight, and it, I had no problems fitting more cards in it. So let's see if we can fit some more and see how many we could fit in total. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's try ten here and just try it and see what happens. And like I said, here we have ten cards in the eight card holder. No issues at all. And you still have enough space. Like I said, it's compartmentalized and shifted into two compartments, not to mention the third at the bottom, but no issues fitting 10 cards in an eight card holder. When it comes to the cash carrying capacity of the Exto, on the website it says this wallet, no matter what variation of four, six, eight, and 10 you get, it's able to hold up to eight more bills and five business cards. So. When it comes to the bills, you have to do a little bit of a three-fold action here in order for it to fit. So I'm just using Canadian bills here. And how that's gonna work is it's gonna fit in it like this. So the cash is gonna fit at the bottom like that. We'll grab the cards again and we'll slide it in just to show you how that's gonna work. And as you can see, that cash is always gonna sit at the bottom. So to get at cash, you know, you'll pull that, you're gonna have to pull out all your cash and most likely all of your cards simply because of the way you have to fold things to put them in. But the ability is definitely there and you're gonna have no issues putting any type of currency. So we'll just go through the motions and show you US, Great British Pounds and Euros as well that everything can go in there if you fold it properly. So when it comes to fitting cash in there, as you can see, you're not gonna have any issues. Maybe possibly the Great British Pounds here, these wide bills, the 20 pound notes here, a little bit wide at the edge, just, uh, just barely, but it fits in. And I will end it by saying, when you're putting the bills in, it probably would make sense too, when you're putting the bills in, folding it like this, have it so the ends of the bill that are up are facing down in the wallet. That way you're not gonna have any issues when you're sliding in cards in or out of catching and pulling any of your bills. Otherwise, easily holds eight to 10 bills in the bottom with your eight cards on the top with space to go. As you can see, like I said, that little stainless steel plate is flexible so you can push down in the wallet and really pack it tight if you need to. But no issues at all meeting what the website says. And finally, the last compartment of this wallet. This is the section of the wallet where they are saying you could put an extra five business cards. You can see the amount of space you're working with here. Nothing major, but a nice little extra space to uh, give you a lot of flexibility in the wallet. Now, since I don't use business cards or have any use for them, I was actually using it for my driver's license, my health card, and my car insurance. And I'll just show you that now. Uh, basically, my car insurance in between two cards here. And slides in no problem at all a lot of space and um only thing here is the stuff that you put on the bottom without the purchase of an extra accessory it's going to be sliding around 
It's not going to be in place and sturdy like the cards up here. There's definitely a lot of movement. And this is where the accessories will jump into, will come into play. I got two extra accessories, accessories that I think you probably should consider if you're going to buy the wallet. The other two, maybe not so much, but we'll just jump into the bottom one. So the first accessory is a business card cover. They can come in. I got the carbon fiber variant. There's carbon fiber a white plastic, and a black plastic. And basically all this is, is it's bent and shaped to fit exactly this space here and uh, remedy that issue of things sliding around, like I said. And it adds a nice little stylistic um, feature to the wallet, gives it a little bit more flavor, but most importantly, it keeps all the things that you have in here secure. Now for me, the things at the bottom aren't gonna be things I need access to too much. So I'm not gonna be moving this around a lot. I would suggest if you are considering buying this wallet, really take a look at that extra piece if you do plan on putting things down here because without it, I really don't think things will stay in place. Things will fall out and move around with ease as you can see. But with this, keeps everything nice, tight and secure. And it's only an extra $8 for the carbon fiber one. And I believe it's only an extra four dollars for the other plastic plate but it's definitely something this wallet needs if you want to make use out of this bottom space the next accessory that i purchased was just the cover plate and all the cover plate is is just like in the shape of a credit card piece of plastic there's three colors available black silver and white as the uh, Kini brand naming there. And for me, I just feel if this is something where you're gonna have some sensitive information, whether it's credit card numbers, or maybe you will keep your driver's license on the front. If you wanna keep things covered, this is just basically something you're gonna uh, fit in here to give your wallet a little bit of privacy and keep people from viewing any sensitive info you have. And so for me, those are the only two accessories I would add if you were gonna buy this wallet. And if you had to buy just one accessory, buy this business card cover plate, because if you wanna make use out of this space, you want it to be secure and you definitely need that. Otherwise, this would be my second suggestion just gives you a little versatility to keep things private. Otherwise, I'll throw up on the screen here, they also have a phone mount and a customizable spring upgrade. And the spring upgrade is just the bottom piece of that stainless steel to make it a little different from their stock offering. Otherwise, there you have it. So this to me was one of the best wallets I've used in a long time. Made in California, it's nice to see some North American made products of high quality aluminum, stainless steel, great engineering, light, very versatile. Uh, it's nice to see some accessories that don't double the price of the wallet. And like I'd mentioned, if you're gonna get one, just get that business card backplate, as you will really need that if you wanna utilize that backspace. A nice variety and selection of compartments and it over delivers, which is what you wanna see. Definitely for me, a big surprise. I think this is one to look at if you're in the market for a hard shell wallet. Here is their contact info. Go take a look, throw your support to a great company who created a really great product. There you have it, everyone. Take it easy, be well, and until next time.